wine growing village at the southern end of the Rhine Gorge. Rudersheim am Rhein is a tourist magnet whose medieval alleyways and half timbered houses attract more than three million visitors a year. These streets are so picturesque and quaint and beautiful. I just love them. Yeah, this is something very, very typical for Germany. And this is why we have so many people coming especially to this street. Yeah, this is our Christmas shop, they call it. And this is where you get all kind of typical German souvenirs, like cuckoo clocks and signs and Christmas ornaments. Oh, very cute. <laughs> it's like something out of a picture book, like Hansel and Gretel. All the, <laughs> all the beautiful buildings yeah. and everything so pretty and quaint. It's gorgeous. Do you hear that sometimes? Yeah, very often. So people very often say, well, now we are finally in Germany. Yes. Because everything is so typical German. Half timbered houses, cobblestone streets, and the gondola, the chimes, the castles. The area was originally settled by Celts, followed by Romans in the first century. The Italians not only brought their legionary, but their copious winemaking knowledge as well. The Storzel family's winemaking traditions date back as far as 1647, and their stunning cellar dates back even further to 1480. So this is 2017. Mm -hmm. It's called Rüdesheimer Magdalenenkreuz. It's very easy. You very should, easy. You it should just try it after the, rolls three. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe after three or four wines, you speak much better German. Maybe you never know. Maybe or you not. don't. Or you don't care. That's no. the problem. <laughs> It's not too dry, so a little bit 14 gram natural sugar. And may I show you one thing? Sure. I was just ready to get straight in. I'm not going to hold it there, do I? Yeah. Ooh, okay. You don't even see your fingerprints. You can check the color. Oh. You check, have a look through the glasses. Okay. Then have a smell. What should I be looking for in a good Riesling? First, I would say a little bit of color. So young Rieslings are a bit, we call it greenish or so white. As the wine becomes older, 10, 12, 15 years, it changed a little bit from white or greenish into golden or amber, and the very old wines look very dark, but they're still drinkable. And it's a fine balance combination between the acidity and the natural sweetness, and it tastes together. It Cheers. smells amazing. Cheers. I love that you're um, happy yeah. with pretzels. It's very yeah, German of you. So <laughs> the, uh, you see, it's very good if you do a wine tasting with a lot of wines. Eat the pretzels, you eat the salt, mm. you get more thirsty. That's lovely.